Hello, people of the internet. So, currently, I'm filming this video that's gonna go up today. Today, I was supposed to be posting an Ulta haul video, but I couldn't edit it because my dog got sick last night. Um, so, here's a little rundown on everything that's been wrong with Lucy. So, basically, to start everything off, yesterday morning, I woke up and I had a hair appointment. So, I fed Lucy a little bit early, and I took her outside. When she woke up, I took her outside after she ate, she fell asleep. But she didn't really eat that much food, and she typically doesn't ever drink water with her breakfast. So I was like, okay, that's normal that she's not drinking water. But she didn't, she normally doesn't eat that much food for breakfast anyways, but then she ate less than she normally did. And I said, okay, maybe it's just because I'm feeding her early. So I get back from my hair appointment, try and feed her lunch. She's not eating it. Try and get her to drink some water. Had a little bit of water, not that much. Um, then I took her outside, she goes pee, but she doesn't you know, go poo, which is, like, around the time she normally does, so then I had to go pick up the little girl that I nanny from school, and so I take Lucy with me because she normally comes to their house with me, and so we get to her school, Lucy's fine, she's still not eating, still not drinking, she's, well, I mean, she's not really fine, she's sick, you can tell she's not herself, she's not energetic, she's being lethargic, I'm like, okay, well, maybe it's because she just woke up, and I don't know, but my mom said she wasn't barking or whining at all while I was gone because I had her in her crate, but I was just like, what? This is not how you normally act around this time of day. So then a couple minutes go by, and then all of a sudden, Lucy threw up on her blanket that I keep in my passenger seat, and I didn't really know what to do, so I looked up reasons why dogs could vomit on an empty stomach, and it says something about bile, I think it was called, that it upsets your dog's stomach if they have it in there for too long like if they have it's I don't know it's like stomach acid I think and it's like if you, they have too much stomach acid and not any food to soak it up that could be totally wrong I'm not really 100% for sure um but they said if it's like the yellowy greeny color then that's what it is and it wasn't foamy or anything at all so I was like okay yeah that's probably what it is and then after that I took her to Bo's house because I didn't if she was to get sick again I didn't want her to be at the little girly nanny's house um because you know obviously I'm working and I can't really tend to my dogs every baking every bacon every bacon call I don't know what that saying is um I can't I can't as much as I would love to be able to do both I can't really do both normally Lucy will just play while I help the girl I nanny with homework and get her a snack and all that stuff um but she was not feeling well so I probably would have been too worried to do anything else um so I just thought it was the best call to have her go over to Bo so I dropped her off to Bo I was texting Bo he was like yeah she's like being lethargic she's not acting normal she's not really drinking any water I can't get her to eat her food so obviously I'm worrying more but she's not throwing up again so I'm like okay we're good so then I come back to my house, Bo comes over and brings Lucy, and she's still not eating her food, so we try and take her kibble, and my mom made chicken for dinner last night, and so we put some chicken broth over her kibble to see if she would eat it, and she ate a little bit, and then she started, like, you know, making like weird movements so my mom's like she's gonna throw up so I took her outside and I was petting her and I'm like it's okay it's okay Lucy girl and then she threw up and this time it was yellow but instead of it being like a dark yellowy green it is like a yellowy pastel foamy color and still no chunks there's no chunks the first time or the second time so I'm just like oh gosh um so from there I kept her outside a little longer to see if she had to go potty she did go pee just fine but she didn't poo um she tried but all that came out was diarrhea and clear liquid but no blood so that's good because uh, no like blood means probably parvo and parvo is uh known as the puppy killer um, cause it's like a virus that kills puppies if it's not caught soon enough. But, yeah, so then she woke up multiple times throughout the night last night to go outside and she would try and go poo and nothing would come out except for diarrhea or clear liquid. So, I don't really know. 
what's wrong. Um, she ate, oh, once we came it back inside last night, though, she did finish the rest of that kibble, and we also made her some white rice, and she ate some of that as well, and then I tricked her into drinking a bunch of water with an ice cube. Um, I would put my hand, I'd scoop my hand in her water bowl like this, with an ice cube floating in my hand, and I'd have it, like, against the side, and she would try and lick that ice cube, and then she'd end up drinking a bunch of water, because obviously the ice cube moved around. So, uh, she did drink water, and... Yeah, but this morning I called her vet when they opened. I called them a couple of times and then it would go straight to voicemail and I was like, oh my gosh, they're too busy. They're not gonna have an open appointment. And <laughs> thankfully they did finally answer and I made an appointment with them for 12.30 today. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what's going on with Lucy. Um, I will keep you guys updated. Um, but yeah, she's sleeping right now, and she also puked this morning, and um, last night in the middle of the night, I fell asleep with her on my bed before I put her back into her crate, because normally I let her fall asleep on my bed before I put her in her crate, so then, like, she doesn't cry when she's in her crate, which I know it's not a good habit, but I love snuggling with my puppy, but I fell asleep, and then all of a sudden, I woke up, and her stomach was making weird noises, and then all of a sudden, she tried to go poo on my bed, what she normally doesn't ever do that, and it just, like, it was just a bunch of clear liquid and stuff, so I have my sheets in the laundry, um, again, so, yeah, I say again, because she also peed on my bed the other day, <laughs> but that was before she was all sick, um, but yeah, that's my update on my dog, um, I'll keep you guys updated after the vet appointment to see what is wrong with her, I don't think she ate anything that she shouldn't have Eight. I'm with her constantly 24 7 um the only thing I can really think of is this toy right here her lamb chop she chewed it up but I sewed it back on and then these strings came off but she didn't pull off any of the strings um all the strings are still attached and I was just I haven't given it to her since I have um after I sewed it back and then she ripped it again. I haven't given it back to her. So as soon as it ripped, I took it away from her. So she wouldn't be able to swallow strings. Because I didn't want her to get any, like, strings tied up in her intestines or anything. But, I mean, there's a possibility that I could have missed a string that came out. Or maybe she ate, like, a sharp piece of mulch or, like, a rock or something. I, I don't I don't know. Um, but, yeah. That's what's up. Um... That's the update. I don't really have a conclusion to this at all. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and upload this. And I'll keep you guys updated probably in the comments or something. I'll make like a pinned comment, I guess. Um, but that's all for this video. Um, I don't know. If you liked it, I guess give it a thumbs up. It's not really like a video for you guys to like. It's just kind of like a video of like an update. Um, of my dog, because my dog is, obviously, I introduced her on my YouTube channel. So, I'm just making an update about her, because she's my little baby, and, um, I would rather, you know, take her to the vet and care for her than be away from her to edit a video. Thankfully, she slept the whole time I was making this. I'm not, I don't even think I'm gonna edit this, but, um... If you want to stay tuned for my future videos, I do have a 1,000 subscriber giveaway coming up. I don't know when that's going to be. I kind of want to get more stuff for it first. Um, but until then, I'm going to go ahead and get off. Um, yeah. I'll see you guys in my next video. It should probably be an Ulta haul. So uh, until next time, because I'm from Kentucky. Bye.